Hello, this is H.J. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda! Since last time, as you can see, I have a lot more rupees and bombs than I did last time. I also bombed that wall up there, and the wall that, well, wasn't there before. So, let's go check it out. This is basically how I made all my money. So, you go in here, and it's basically a gambling ring here. It costs ten rupees, you go in there, and hey, hey alright! Well, you make a lot of money that way really fast. But let's say you went in there and you didn't make a lot of money. Let's say you lost some money. Okay, you see there, I lost some money. Well, I don't want to keep that. So let's go back to the save menu. Just click retry. And then you'll have your money back. It won't save. So basically, you're save scumming in order to make money there. And it's right next to the entrance. It's really fast. Could have done that in the first quest, but but it's in the same place, too. But I figured, well, we don't really need that there. But in the second quest, yeah, money's kind of hard to come by. So I think that's pretty much the fastest way of doing that. So let's head on to the next dungeon I wanted to go to. Not even going to bother healing up. Let's just head on straight over there. Oh yeah, another thing I also did. I bought the enemy bait again at the blue ring shop in the northeast corner there. Oh, you know, we ought to check out uh, level 5. See how uh, things are going over there. I wonder what happens when we get back up there then. I mean, they haven't changed the world map at all. What the? Yeah, in the second quest, level 5 is in here. They changed the screen here. There's a fairy there to heal you up. So, that's pretty nice. If you go down here, you can unlock level 4. So, let's take a look around here. This one is big. So, it's going to take a little while to uh, get through this area. Let's see what we got here. Let's uh, light things up a little bit. And then I'll light up my enemies, just like I always do. What? Oh, I got hit. I don't recall getting hit by the bubbles, but I'll take your word for it, game. Oh, yeah, I don't really need keys anymore. But I'm going to get them anyway out of habit. So, oh wow. Well. Now, normally, uh, level 4 is the first dungeon where you run into these guys. Yeah, the red bubbles. Yeah. So, uh, if you're watching this for whatever reason and you missed the last episode, red bubbles permanently take away your sword. So, you want to watch out for them. But, you can get your sword back if you touch the blue bubbles, here. Or if you go out to that fairy back there, or if you use a potion. So, put a bomb there. Ooh, perfect. Dead center. Come on. There we go. Blow them up. There we go. Now that sort of worked. Not exactly as planned, but I'll take what I can get. Oh, these guys are going to take forever to kill. Wow. Stay away Wow. Okay, um... Yeah, I'll use my bombs. Why not? Unfortunately, I do not have... There we go. I do not have arrows to deal with those poles voices this time around. Come on. There we go. Yeah! Alright. Easy enough. You know, I heard someone saying that you could actually use the wand on these guys. Oh, you can! Wow, there we go. Yeah, you can use the wand on them if you're hitting them with the base part of the wand, not the actual magic itself. So, huh. So, if you lose your sword permanently, that can be sort of a replacement for dealing with these guys. And there are a lot of dark nuts in this dungeon. So... And a lot of those red bubbles, too. So, if you lose your sword permanently, for whatever reason, you can, uh, well, get a pet, or use the wand instead. So, that'll be really helpful. If you don't have the wand, well, you're screwed! There we go. I thought that was in this room. And now it is time for what may be the most annoying room in the second quest here. We got red bubbles, blue bubbles, dark nuts, Okay, I made that room look a lot easier than it actually is. 
yeah, that room is usually a lot harder to get through without uh, losing your sword. But, well, apparently I got pretty lucky today, so. Okay, H.C. Bailey, stop being so reckless. You didn't have that much to drink last night. There we go. Get down here! There we go. Maybe I should actually equip my boomerang so these guys can't run into me anymore. There we go. Okay, one more. Game? There we go. If only I had bows and arrows to deal with those poles' voices, but sadly, I do not. And now I'm going to get an item that makes me even weaker, the magic book. Oh well. My completionist side overwhelms me. I have to get every item in the game. So, uh, so yeah, you get the magic book, just like the first quest, you attach it to your wand, and now it shoots fire instead of those stronger beams from before, so. Oh, well. But anyway, yeah, I want to go through a secret passage! To get more rupees. I mean, bombs! Yeah, I know, I, I screwed up the last episode, I know, I know. Whatever. So, now we go through another secret passage! See what I can do with these guys. Come on. Come on, gang up on me. Nuts. Whoa. Careful. Ha! Ooh, we're not doing too bad. If I can just get a fairy from one of those blue dark nuts, then we'll really be set. Now, I'm gonna still kill all the enemies anyway to get keys. Well, most of the enemies. Wow. Okay, go, go, no, go, 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 go! There we go. Yes, I'll get most of the keys in these dungeons. Just in case, you know, you're playing along, but you're going in the different dungeon order, so you have an idea of where everything is. Just in case, you know, if you don't have the magic key like I do. Well, I wonder if bombs work on those guys. Nope. I didn't test, like, every weapon on every enemy in this game. Ugh. That would take too long. Not, not that the game is very long to begin with, but... There we go. Okay, one more. Come on. There we go. More keys, if you don't already have it. I wonder why they use the letter A to signify, like, keys. All the keys. Like, is it an alternate key? Or... I don't know. I mean, I know A is uh, 10 in hexadecimal, but we have way more than 10 keys, so... Uh, let's see, I think this one? Yes. Okay, there we go. Uh-oh. One of the... Oh. oh, okay, it's just one. Let's kill this guy the proper way. I would have re-recorded the boss fight in the last episode because of how I screwed up there. Whoa! Too many! There we go. Ha! That's what happens when you gang up on people. Yeah, unfortunately, these guys are a lot harder to deal with when you uh, don't have the magical sword. Oh man, I'm really taking a beating here. I hope I can make it through this dungeon without, uh, without using a potion. That would be embarrassing. Okay, well, there's only three of them left. I can get them. Come on. Get closer. There you go. Yes! Ha! There we go. Okay, one more. You can do it, Link. Well, or maybe not. Damn it. Man, these guys can turn around fast with their armor. Wow, these guys can turn around fast. Okay. Phew! Well, we're not doing too bad so far.
Yeah, unfortunately, in that kind of a room, there's only one way you can go. Up. Uh, let's see. Let's light things up for you guys, just in case you're playing along. See, I think if we do this... Yes! Okay, there's a secret passage! You could go up in that room if you really wanted to, but well, I don't. Let's, uh, bomb over there. Yeah, a little trick! Nice thing... One thing that makes... Oh, I missed the bombs. Oh, well. One thing that makes this, um, dungeon a lot easier for me is because I've already been to level 6 to grab the... the ladder there. So I can kind of avoid the red bubbles like that. If you haven't been to level 6, well, then it's going to be a, a bit harder for you. That's... Okay, come on. Go, 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 go! Ugh. Man, this dungeon's kicking my ass. Oh, well. Uh, I don't know what that guy means, but I'm going to uh, go over here, then. Uh-oh. I'm trapped! I have no way out of here! What if I only had 50 rupees? Which should I choose to get through here? Find out next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!